<clears throat> welcome to live with Riley and RJ. Anyway, <laughs> welcome fellow good girls. We're back after a long month away, which is my fa- my fault. It but will never okay. be this long again. Well, it was RJ's fault because she was moving. Yes, but now I'm all moved and we're ready to go. Um, if you have any issues with the stream or the quality or something, let us know in the chat. Hi, Hi I am Steph. Hi, Steph. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. She's our biggest fan, I think. I love her. I'm her biggest fan. Same. By the way, you have not updated me on where you are in the Devil's Night series. I am Steph, and I'm feeling Hello, very Hello, LMFAO Marina. Hi. I don't know these people's hi, names hi. from the Discord, if they're the same or not. I know. I wish it could. I wish I could like see their names next to it too, so that I could like address you by not "I am Steph," but who you actually are. Okay. Is it Let's Stephanie? It. What do you think it is? Let's probably Stephanie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. do your little announcements. Okay. So, um, before we get started, I'm like really hot under these lights. <laughs> before you get started. I am. St- How dare you? Sorry, I just saw what you commented. I had to respond. She hasn't even started Kill Switch, which is my favorite I one. Know. I know you haven't. So, you probably won't. Probably not. Hey, right, Stephanie. See, I was right because I'm brilliant. <laughs> anyway, you have to start it because it's the best logical one. jump. Yes, it is. Anyway, anyway. So let's do some house housekeeping really quick before we get started. So me and Riley are trying to figure out how we're going to do a couple of like exclusive content drops for you guys. Um, whether it be like streams that nobody else can really see or just content nobody else can really see or just early access to content, but also this kind of like traveling book club situation where we all forward books on to each other. Um, So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to have certain channels in the Discord we're thinking. I make no promises because like I said, I'm still figuring out all this stuff. But um, making certain channels in the Discord that may, may kind of be paid for but that will give you access to that kind of stuff so if anybody can think of things that they would like to see from us different kinds of content besides just the stream exclusive like paid for content yeah to be clear no <laughs> we're kind of still yes. in the in the brainstorming thing of that and we like you guys because you guys are all like super active and really helpful for figuring this kind of stuff out so yes keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff we will be leaving it in the announcements and all that good jazz but we just wanted to say that. And that's really all that we have for housekeeping, right? We don't have anything else. Did cool. you want to announce the next book now or do you want to wait till the oh, end? Oh, yeah. Well, you do it because I don't I don't know much about this book. This wasn't the one that I voted for and I was very sad about it. I that. don't know much about this book either. I also did not vote for this book. This is something that was, you know, everybody said that they wanted it a lot. Um, so I put it on the poll. So our next book is, drumroll please, if you can. That's, my, that's the Thank best you. I can do for a drum roll. A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen, I think is how you say it. Yeah. It just barely beat out. Actually, all of them were really close together. I really... Um, and maybe I'm just... I wanted there, to read like, the Penelope Douglas one too, but... Well, so Okay, so have you read any Penelope Douglas? Would that have been like your first no. interaction with them? That would have been my first, yes. Oh, it would have been so good. But also, I'm very nervous for you to read Penelope Douglas because... The book's gonna be a little aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. I've heard tell. <laughs> this is girl that of I that. This is a girl that I follow on TikTok, and we were talking about it, like you know, we, she DM'd me talking about that book series and how she's never read it, but she's interested. And I was like, well, just hold yeah. off. Just wait yeah. to see what you think. Maybe, maybe. I've heard. Yeah. Oh, hello. We got another person. Hi. Hello. I don't know how to pronounce that. First time chat. Hello. Um, but yeah, I really want it to be the Penelope Douglas one, but I'm sure this one will be good too. I'll it's probably not. Still yeah, this Douglas. one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Oh, so. I don't think, honestly, when I saw Penelope Douglas, I just voted for that one. So. Yeah, I've never heard of this book either. I looked it up. I looked at the Goodreads reviews. It has pretty good reviews, so hopefully it'll be good. Okay. Well, I'm excited. All right. Anyway, I think that was, that was it, right? Do you already yes. have the next fantasy one done or do you want to do that on the fantasy I stream? do. Um, I can wait till the fantasy stream or I can just say it now. It's up to you. No, I don't. I'm so sorry. I never, I'm, I'm reading that. I don't ever fall asleep reading. I Who have falls to, asleep when reading? I have to, no. I have to force myself to stop when I'm doing and continue. Like, to, if it's to like a, um, if it's like a, like an attention span thing, um, maybe shorter books to start off with mm-hmm. um before you get like 
more into the book or maybe caffeine <laughs> or yeah, even audio books with a cookie. I heard it helped. Over the cookie I heard audio every books. chapter. Yes. <laughs> audio books help a lot of people um, with yeah. ADD and ADHD. So maybe that could work too. No, but I'm sorry. I wish I, like the other night, I literally stayed up until four in the morning reading. So I, and, and I, every hour was like, all right, here's my cutoff. And then something happened in the book. And I was like, okay, got to keep yeah. going. So I wish I could help, but I just, I cannot. I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, just to be. Just to say it really quick, the next fantasy book, if anyone wants to participate in that again, is Throne of Glass um, by Sarah J. Moss. It's the same person who wrote A Court of Thorns and Roses, which we'll be talking uh, about in an hour. Yeah, yeah she's very popular. I think this one's a little bit more YA and not as oh, I'm out. icy. But I'm not positive. I'm, I'm not positive. <laughs> I know. You weren't going to read it anyway. I might. I don't know. I might know. But now, no. I mean, we all know that I need <clears throat> smut to sustain. That's my, it's my sustenance. Everybody else uses food. I use smut. <gasps> Hi. It's Kayla. She's really active in the Discord. Hi. Hi. Howie. Do you not spend a lot of time on a screen? I do. I think I spend a lot of time on a screen. It's probably an embarrassing too, yeah. amount of time on a screen. But yeah, I'm with I'm with Marina here. I only fall asleep if I haven't slept in a couple days all right anyway let's start talking about dun, 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 dun. things we never got over yeah i have one right here amazing now let's we got i want to do a quick comparison up. so let, look at how tabbed up mine is because i loved it yeah but i think you're just a little out of control with the tabs anyways to begin with what Actually, you just you tab be. a lot more than me you in right. general <laughs> that's very true but like every time it's something that gives me like feelings i have to tab it yeah my orange ones are everything i hated so that's the majority of this book so just to be completely transparent um as i've said in the discord and on my tiktok i don't like this book <laughs> rj okay. loves this book i love i literally loved it so much and then yeah. really texted me after i finished it and she was like does it get better i'm like what do you mean it was great from page two Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in the minority. Kayla loves it. I am Steph loves it or Steph loves it. You know, most of the people in the chat loved it. Yeah. Yeah. See, I mean, hers is tabbed a lot, but hers is tabbed with stuff that she hates. It doesn't make any sense to me because I love yes. this book. I use, yeah, it's stuff I hated, important stuff. I have a couple predictions in there. I have one quote that I liked, one, and I tabbed that. So. I like because I, I went back through to find the quotes, right? Because I tab, and then sometimes when I, because I tab so much, I actually have a hard time finding the things that I tab that meant more than other things. So I had to go back through and kind of find it. And I, there was really one quote that I, like, I really gravitated towards, Um, but it wasn't even like one of the main characters that said it. I think it was Lucy and that what said it, it. What if it's the same quote? That would be funny. <laughs> I don't think it is. All right. Do you have your summary? Um, I just I'm gonna come up with it on the fly because I'm not. Oh, good. I wrote mine out, but that's fine. I'm not a prepared bitch like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely one of my top ten favorites. I agree with Steph. <clears throat> Riley just don't. Riley just, just Riley just. I sustain on smut. She sustains on haterade, and that's fine. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the summary. <clears throat> yeah. Naomi leaves her fiance at the altar, or right before the altar, leaves fiance at the wedding. To, I believe it's at the altar. Yeah, to um go find her evil twin, uh, which that was that was the hardest part for me to grasp. Um, to go find her evil twin in a small town, and then proceeds to meet a very grumpy, angry, childish man, and then Thank nonsense you. ensues. <laughs> Thank that? you for the admission that he's childish. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was. He was. He really was childish. I I had a yeah. hard time kind of getting through a couple of things, but I mean, I still loved it. I can't, I can't complain. He was, I'm sorry. I forgot to point out the important part of the plot was that he was blonde. Ugh. It's just so disappointing. Like literally, why would anyone ever do that? Also, that's not an important part of the plot. So. It was important, it was important to me because it was very it was important to you. Yeah. Yes, he's 43. He's for oh. my Volvo Reed. Thank you. You followed me on TikTok. I remembered that name because it is. What a name you have. What a name. <laughs> My Volvo. <laughs> I remember that. 
<laughs> I remember that. I believe it's you who also said that you weren't as into him at the beginning, but you kind of liked him towards the end. I wasn't into him at all. So okay, so I I'm, feel that. I agree with that. I in the beginning, I was kind of like, uh, like he's. I feel like he just was. He was like a little too grumpy for like no reason. Like once he realized that it wasn't the twin anymore, like he was still like. Rajne, it was borderline verbal abuse. Okay, <laughs> let's fine. be clear. Listen, I read Penelope <laughs> Douglas. This was light. This was I know. Wasn't shit. I know. <laughs> I heard how much they were like. I okay. So the the evil twin was the really hard part for me. I feel like I don't know. It just was like difficult for me. To... <laughs> that was the part I had the least amount of problems with. <laughs> really. <laughs> yes wow yeah okay. okay to be clear i liked Wele. i liked naomi oh, I for Wele. the most part mm-hmm. um i did i hated Knox so much that it just ruined the whole thing for me <laughs> basically i like the need to save her vibe what do you when you say need to save her do you mean like from Knox? like he had that vibe he did very much have like a and so, okay, yeah. so I love a single mom trope, probably because I relate to it so strongly, but I feel like... What? Oh my God, what? No. I know. I feel like... I don't know. Like I feel like so many of the single mom books, they tote the line between like the single mom finding love and then like the, the main male character saving her. Like her life was just her and her child and, and it meant nothing but her child and until he comes along and then he like breathes new life into them and i feel like that's kind of i always find that i don't i don't want to say like offensive but i'm like i'm doing fine without a man and i don't appreciate the annotation that a single mom was like out here struggling yeah, yeah. Like, but maybe that's just me okay do you want to start off talking about the characters or the overall plot i think what we should do is you tell me the things you loved Okay. And then I'm going to tell you the things I hated. And then I think we'll be talking more about the things I hated because you're going to be like, no. <laughs> okay. So I think that that's what's going to end up happening. So I I loved the kind of like the sibling rivalry, which I, yeah, at the end, that's how you sort of saved him for me. That's fair. He's, I wouldn't put him on my list of boyfriends either. It's, he's, he's fine. He's blonde whatever anyway so the thing that i saw so I, li- I liked the rivalry between him and the brother when it came to naomi even though i'm not a big fan of like a love triangle i think if it had gone more of like the love triangle i mean i don't route, think it was a love triangle because yeah. she didn't really reciprocate anything yeah but i liked i liked it now if i had been naomi i would have i would have picked nash i'll say that much <laughs> but i will say cop. that but rajana he's a cop he seems like a good cop. What he happened let, to ACAP? He let that one. He let that one um, poker thing go. He's a good cop. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> he's a good cop with. A, I, I mean, he's best friends with like a criminal underlord. Isn't that what Lucian oh is? God. Just like, whatever. <laughs> okay. No, I, but I I liked that. I simply rival with Naomi annoyed me. Oh, really? Okay, so so that's a good. I'm I'm sure that Riley hated the sibling rivalry because that was a. I felt like that that was a huge part of the plot in the half, the first half. So let's. Um, the sibling rivalry between Knox and his brother, I found extremely childish. <laughs> they literally brawl each other multiple occasions. They're like fighting each other. These with men are no in their provocation. 40s. They're in their forties. <laughs> that's not cute. He okay, tries to drive up. He tries to drive up the driveway to let her know about her stolen yeah. stuff, and Knox is like, "They're waiting." It makes Knox's motivations from the beginning make zero sense to me because he doesn't understand them. Like he, no. he literally didn't understand. I don't know, but it was good for Lucian's. Yeah, Lucian's book is next, I think, or Lucian. I don't know how you say that. I'm actually really excited. For, I'm excited for that book. I will not be participating in reading that. <laughs> Wow, just, I'll, I'll do it. I didn't like shoot. the writing either. It like, was tra- sorry. Well, and so it was. It was totally childish, and I, I actually didn't like Knox because of it in the very beginning. Like when he just like fought his brother. When she, I mean, he was a cop, yeah. like helping her out with something. Yeah, there is a fine line between being a grump versus sunshine trope, and this man literally being like borderline verbally abusive and just beating his brother up yeah well 
Okay, so I agree with you, Kayla, because when he, once that sibling rivalry, after the breakup, after he was like, I can't do this because he ran into his fucking dad or whatever. I mean, that was embarrassing from a man who was 40, remember, 40, <laughs> broke up with her because he ran into his dad. And then what did he call her? Like leftovers or something? Um, I actually, uh, yeah, yeah, I really, um, I'm pretty sure he called her. her. Yeah, he called her leftovers. Leftovers, yeah. I was a, I was appalled, and he was already on like such a. I actually don't. Now that we're talking, I don't know if I do like Knox. I maybe I'm like just thinking of the highlight reel. Thank that, you. That shit really made me so mad. What highlight reel? What highlight reel? This. Highlight what did he do? Reel. Look, listen. None I've of that. Highlight reels. I think I think that I like Naomi enough. Okay, to, that's fine. I think that that's what it was because I really didn't. I don't fine. Know. Like I like a grump versus sunshine, but he was just like. So, I don't know. You can say it. An asshole. He was yeah. an asshole. <laughs> he was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. He, he does, does need, need therapy. therapy. He does need therapy. Yeah, he said to Nash, enjoy my leftovers. I'm pretty sure that's oh. exactly what he said. And you're right, Kayla. He didn't grovel. No, he, he didn't just saved even her grovel. From the underground mafia, whatever that was. <laughs> That was the weirdest ending <laughs> ever. <laughs> I know. To talk okay, so to talk about things that I didn't like. I didn't like that. I don't really like when I'm reading a romance and there's like unless it's a mafia romance, then it fits. But if it's like this like weird like back plot, I really yeah. just I didn't it came out of nowhere. It did come out of nowhere. <laughs> it really did. It Literally was, it was really strange. So weird. Yeah. All of a sudden they're like in a warehouse or something she's tied up the twins are changing each other's clothes but the dumb guy noticed because the boobs weren't lopsided mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's really good writing i think well he just that's true i hated that I, to talk about things that i hated i actually didn't like the whole i can't don't say so tell me when i've earned it okay oh God, shut the fuck up. i'm sorry but i so <laughs> it I actually found it to be a really fast read for how uh, <laughs> long it was. It took me I like it. a week and a half to it. read this book. I read it all in a day. Yeah. I actually yeah, no. I went to a children's <laughs> birthday party and locked myself in a room and was reading it with my child. And it was nice because she was, I got to just use her as an excuse. Like, oh, she's not really feeling it. We'll be in here. I'm reading. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It took me like a week and a half to read. Yes, the book did drag on. <laughs> You're what right. Else, what else did I like? I really, I really like Naomi. Yeah, yeah, I read it in one day too. It's, it's, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it, even though I didn't like Knox. Can I? May I say one of the things I hated the most? Absolutely. I would love Which may be, it. you know, a little bit nitpicky, but in honor of it almost being Pride Month, I really found the bisexual character to be a cardboard cutout of a bisexual person. He was which seen one? as like the. What do you mean? Which one? The one was was Steph bisexual, and then the other gentleman. I read it a long time ago. Was he was he gay and not bisexual? Yes. Okay, that was what it was implied. Yeah, he said gay. Um, I also didn't love that they were the only two that gay characters, and they ended up together because, of course, that's just how that works. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the quote that I hated the most, and you know, it just made me like really hate Knox a lot um more than i already did <laughs> and you really can't couldn't stand him i really hated him let me see if i can find it yeah okay so jeremiah thank you i totally forgot that name jeremiah are they gonna get a book jeremiah and seth no i felt like this <laughs> author cares about <laughs> gays <laughs> absolutely not i feel like there just wasn't enough like backstory for them to get a book i because because at the end they really did try to gloss oh, like i don't even think lucian was really present at the end they tried to gloss over whoever was going to get a book so that they didn't yeah. tease us yeah like so this stuff. is a quote i hated Knox said is it the bisexual part of you that wants to talk about fucking feelings all the time so i didn't love that because Knox is a and dick I, <laughs> yes Knox is a dick and Unfortunately, there's only two queer characters in this book, mm -hmm. and we get very limited interactions with them. One of them is a cardboard cutout gay stereotype of a man, 
And the other one is a cardboard cutout gay stereotype or bisexual stereotype of a man. Mm -hmm. So I hated that. Did you, but did only you enjoy really... their characters? I enjoyed Steph. He was he was fine. I mean, he he was probably one of my only characters I liked. <laughs> I liked him in Waylay. Oh. So you who but, didn't you like? Give me the list of everyone you didn't like. I didn't like Knox. I didn't like the brother. I didn't like the twin sister. I didn't like well, yeah, you're not supposed any to of the people. Me. I didn't like any of the people that worked at the honky tonk. Oh, I didn't like any of them. Oh, I liked the sexy librarian and I liked Lucian. Okay, so you're but you're not going to read their book. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll yeah, tell you what no. happens. I'll talk your ear off about it one day. Don't worry. Great. I, I got you. I That's what I'm here for. Yeah. The only responding to the chat the only reason i even know that they end up together is because they like briefly mention it in the epilogue or whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um it's just like a passing sentence which is also why even include gay characters the reason she included gay characters is so she could seem woke mm -hmm. but she didn't because they weren't good I feel the like always... okay the period stuff can we talk about the period stuff but red, what is it called? Red a week? Shark week? What do they call it? Shark week. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With shark week. Bro, I thought it was funny as fuck. Shut your stupid mouth. No. That was funny as Absolutely well. I thought not. It was so no. funny. Rajne, how often do you and all women you know, how often do your shark cycle week. sink? Is it every single month? Because that doesn't happen in reality for me, anyways. Um, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no. The I worked at a restaurant for many years. All of our cycles synced up. I promise you that. Don't start. Secret. Yeah, I do. I just, yes. I think it all they needs to be avoided. The restaurant once a week, the place that he owns one month, one week every month. Well, to the point that the customers knew about it. Remember that? Like the customers That's know. Disgusting. You're a grown. The I think that he even tracks their periods on his calendar. Mm -hmm. Is seen as like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. He sent us a care basket. No, that's not cute. Don't yeah. track my period on calendar. If a man did that to you, that had a who owned oh, the absolutely. place that you worked at, absolutely. no. But just think once about again, that if that's you. I, I'm gonna say it one more time. I allow a lot of things in book universes that if a man even dared, even because Riley knows me very well, I can be a tad bit aggressive. Is that the word that we go for? <laughs> what <laughs> never that if a man did to even thought if i even felt the tingles that he was thinking about it he would be punched squarely in the nose yeah but i allow a lot of things in book universes and it's fine but you didn't like him though so like why did no. you think that, that I, was fun i think that i liked them during shark week like i liked the girls and how horrible they were I don't, yes, yeah, if absolutely. a man tracked my period, I'd run the other way. Thank if you, a Marina. Forty-three-year-old Mariana. Because remember, he's tell me if I'm saying that wrong. All of this needs to be in the context of him being forty-three, right? Like I'm very used to reading books where they are kind of young, right? And, and, and young being like our age, right? Like twenty, twenty-five yeah. to twenty-eight. But like he's forty-three, and the, and the reason that that happened was because of uh, I'm I'm guessing because of Waylay because they she wanted her to come in and kind of take care of an, a teenager because i as a different yeah. dynamic um but she's only like 11 i think right i guess for me it would have actually been more believable then if if the sister had just been older and they just like looked really similar i would have actually preferred that than like her having like an evil twin also the whole they look alike thing isn't really important at all except for for Knox to just be really aggressive towards her in the mm -hmm. beginning by the way the amount of times that it says that this man grabbed her wrist and like yanked her different places did he? i wanted to scream yes i don't remember did that. he no what? i really don't remember yeah. that yeah he grabbed her wrist a lot he grabbed her wrist mm -hmm. a lot and yanked her a lot in like a, in like a sexy way it, no <laughs> No, absolutely not. I'm pretty sure the first time he grabs her wrist is the first time he meets her in the restaurant and he like yanks her to try and get her out of the restaurant. Unless yeah, I'm but like he also crazy. Thinks that she's that crazy lady. You still shouldn't be grabbing women, RJ. Mm, that lady sucked. 
She does suck, but you can't just she be was going around a grabbing a horrible people. person. She was a horrible human being who but started even after physical it was clarified, constantly. Fine. Even after it was clarified that it wasn't her, though, he was still ridiculously aggressive. aggressive. Yeah. And, and I yeah. will say, so, like, I love a grunt versus sunshine, but in a sexy way. In no. a sexy way. <laughs> Grab her in a sexy no. way. No. Um, I understand what you mean by grabbing her in a sexy way, but no. Mm-hmm. Also, the line, get your ass back in the truck. Shut up. Mm-hmm. How many times did you need to say that line? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, me, I'm with Steph. I have no recollection. No, I'm going to have to find evidence of yeah, this go happening. Ahead. I have no recollection of this happening. I'm not saying that you're a liar, but I'm saying that maybe you're you're um, misreading. I'm not remember. saying that you're a liar. Oh my god, Wait, listen to this line. This is the epilogue to Lena and Nash. Lena and Nash. I don't think so. I, I don't so, think so I I don't know. They actually didn't they didn't clarify. So this that's is what I meant when I said that they kind of um everybody that seems like they're gonna get their own book was like in the epilogue but not they didn't yeah. talk about their significant others. So I, I, I do think that that's where I was kind of heading. Um which I didn't really like Lena. I don't remember which one that was. That was the <laughs> one that, quite that was Nash's like ex that stormed in and like made out with Nash or Knox. Sorry, not Nash. Knox in front of everybody after the breakup, and then she like oh kicked. right. I didn't right. like her. She was like right. That was so weird. She was very. There was just a lot of plots in this movie that didn't need to, or in this movie movie in this book that didn't watch, need I to be. I would watch necessary. the movie. Oh, I totally watch the movie. I loved it. You're just a hater, sipping on haterade. And if it tastes good to you, that's good. I'm glad. It tastes it tastes amazing. It tastes delicious, actually. Okay. Thank you. So everybody I wanna know, everyone in the, the chat right now, tell me if you liked it or if you didn't like it. Yes, please. I had a Even feeling if you... that it was gonna like a lot of people were really gonna like it. I think a lot of people did like I it. It got a four point like five stars overall on okay. our Okay. Poll. Okay. But yeah. there does seem like a good amount of people in the in the chat that are like eh. I think that's just like the two people that actually agree with me. <laughs> it's actually mostly just my vulva reads <laughs> that agrees with me <laughs> about it. Um, okay, so like what someone said earlier is if the writing had been good, they would have mm-hmm. ignored a lot of the stuff. Um, mm, but I forgot about that. <gasps> are you listening to me or are you reading the chat? No, I'm reading the chat. Yeah. I think I overlook red flags if they're written in a book. Okay. Absolutely. Kayla. I overlook red flags if they're written in a good in a good book. Like in the next book we're gonna talk about, I o- I overlook a lot of Rice Anne's flags from a-, a Court of Thrones and Roses. I overlook a lot. But a lot of in this book, listen to this. Is this written well? Listen to this line. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Naomi's I'm ready. nostrils flared delicately. Do you like that? Flare your nostrils delicately. Right now. Mmm. That was good. <laughs> that was sexy. Mm-hmm. Okay, now listen to this line. Tell me if you like this line, okay? Okay. I turned and found Knox looming over me like a sexy turkey vulture. I do remember that part. <laughs> okay. Did you enjoy that line? No, I didn't. <clears throat> Did we call that's... that a... Like, that's a really well-written book right there. <laughs> but... It was. A, well, I didn't take that line seriously. I thought that she was being a sarcastic ass. Well, how? No, I, how? I don't know. I thought, I thought that. How? Because I mean, because Naomi was supposed to be kind of like kind of quirky, right? So I she thought that she was just being kind of quirky. But you know, what? I would love to read a book. I would love to read a book that started with the line, "I am just like every other girl." <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people overlook a lot of the red flags and books that they like and i understand that because i do that a lot too yeah oh i, I gave it a five i gave it a five out of five stars loved it i gave it a two loved it. i only it gave it two the only reason i didn't give it a one is because i was reading fast at the end because i wanted to know what was going to happen but that was it i did i glossed I over he it. had a double chin <laughs> by sexy turkey vulture um, you know what part I really didn't enjoy? The part where he was like peeing out the back of his patio. Because the whole time I was like, it's disgusting. Why is this attractive? 
Like why because is that's she, like, clearly an author's kink. She's clearly like a piss play kind of person. Because <laughs> they you, talk about that. Can you what? all hear that my my neighbor just decided to start mowing their lawn? No. Okay. All right. Well, I personally can't hear that. I like it, but not loved uh, it. Then it took me fifty pages to like it. I was in right from the get go. I was in, loved it. I regret nothing. Mm-hmm. You cannot yeah, bully me yeah. into not liking this book. I loved it. I'm not trying to. If you <laughs> like it, that's great for you. I'm happy that you like it. I did. I wasn't. That you, care, that you love it. Um, I didn't like the she's got orgasm face. She's not one of us. I didn't think that was particularly funny personally i'm just going through all my soul i feel like when they're giving um oh my god they said riding the cotton pony what is that does that mean like having a tampon sex oh no it means as in you're on your period oh my god okay so this is why do i have to pee 147 times a day when i'm riding the cotton pony what the hell are you doing here it's period night um i think for okay for me i think that there's a difficulty when it comes to like writing writing funny lines i think that they were in in general i think it's really difficult to write funny lines and have them kind of land the way that you want them to i found that a lot of the lines did land for me i also found that like i would say like 20 percent of the lines didn't land for me and i think i give a little bit of of grace to authors because i know how hard it is to write like in my oh, experience for sure. writing it's it's hard to write funny and have it land yeah. without you being there to deliver the joke yeah i mean i i try to write and i'm not very good at writing either so i understand that for sure especially writing funny like you said mm-hmm. i just think that a lot of the period stuff just went on for way too long and it, if I'd was, liked the characters, if I'd liked the, if I'd liked Knox, I probably wouldn't even care that it wasn't that funny. I probably would have thought it was funny. I I will say so to say what my Volvo reads to point that out. Um, I'm. Thank you for having that be your handle. So we have to say that a bunch. <laughs> Never tell us your real name. So we just have to say my Volvo <laughs> reads. <laughs> Never. Um, I spent a lot of time really excited about Lucian's book. So. Yeah. Maybe I, I think that that's I oh I do like I hate and like when they have like spinoffs of the you know, side characters because um, mm-hmm. I really enjoyed his character and I enjoyed the sexy librarian a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if the second book was um better because I don't like Knox. I'm sure it probably is. I think and usually for an author's, you know, one of their. I don't know if this is one of her first books. I have no idea. I think she has a lot of other books. But I think usually like a second book in a series is usually better, the best one to me personally. Because mm-hmm. it's like you're, the author's more used to the characters. They know them better. They've gotten some fan feedback, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's plenty. So there are, there are authors that I read in high school that are are, are just now getting big. Um, like, like Penelope Douglas. I read some of their books when I was in high school. Um, Christina Lauren and... Oh, Colleen Hoover. There were a couple of books that I read of theirs from 10 years ago that were not good. And I remember when I, you know, joined Book Talk and seeing them like everywhere because I hadn't read anything since then. That's what I felt about Shatter Me. And that's why I was surprised because Shatter Me was fine. It was like a YA, but everyone on Book Talk was like, Shatter Me, Shatter Me, Shatter Me. I was like, I still haven't okay. read it. I mean, I'm pretty I, sure I read that when I was like 16. <laughs> I made that whole TikTok about me, like about to read it. And then I just didn't. You're not going to like it. It's not sexy. I'll give it a, to how he will look. Yeah. Okay. Lucian. So I think that Lucian's tall, dark, and handsome. Y- no, you know that he's white, right? Yeah. I mean, like dark, yeah, dark tan. Not... Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that about the Twisted series. I've heard well, that we talked about that right when we were at one. when we were at Barnes and Noble. Barnes and you were Noble. asking me, yeah. and I was like, "Well, Twisted Love wasn't very good, but Twisted Hate." Like Twisted Games was fine. I like I was like, yeah. okay. but Twisted Hate was my shit. Yeah, I thought it was. Great. I didn't read any of them, so I don't know. Um, right now I'm trying to find like a good list of LGBTQ books to read next month mm-hmm. for myself. Um, because I love the gays. Yes. So and send me some. 
Let me some. I just <gasps> guess what I found. This is totally unrelated. I found my cop my first volume of Heartstopper <laughs> at Target because oh Target's stepping up there. Their shit. Okay. Anyway, back to this book. So yeah. we 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 can collectively say that we we hated Knox. Um, I didn't hate him. Yeah. I just wasn't like a fan of his. I could take him or leave him. Um, when he did say the leftovers thing, I was I actually never forgave him after that. I thought that was like so gross. Yeah. I think I have I have the exact quote marked right here. Hold on. I just found it said with you helping yourself to my leftover or do I have a problem with you helping yourself to my leftovers? Nah, better. She doesn't go to waste. Yeah, I was, so, I never forgave him for that. Actually. He, he never about, recovered. Oh, like a human woman. Like he totally <laughs> he says this about a human woman. Well, so and a woman that he claims to love, which as we yes. can all acknowledge, that's actually, that, that is actually abusive. And when someone loves yes. you, call you, I mean, he basically called her garbage. Yeah. You know, and um and he was wrong. I mean she didn't break up with him. <laughs> he broke up with her. Over the something whole stupid. Breakup, I'm telling you, they just did that breakup to have a third act breakup. That was stupid. There was no reason for that. None of the characters developed, particularly not Knox. And then Naomi just has like this weird montage of like a thousand people coming to talk to her and feel better. Like I will say why I liked I kind of like the way I, I liked the way that she kind of handled the breakup. I feel like not how quickly she got back together with him without groveling, but he did save her life, so I guess that we can forgive it. Um, oh please, yeah, <laughs> well, because he has the skills to do that because he's associated with the motorcycle gang. I don't know. I didn't quite understand that. Rajni, all of that was so convoluted. I had no idea. I'm also waiting for Twisted Lies. I think it's going to be the best one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um. I feel like the way that she handled it where she wasn't like a, a sobbing mess and she wasn't like constantly like worried about him. And then when he, when he was like, no, like when he, when he, whenever he was trying to talk to her, she was like, Hey, fuck off. I appreciated yeah. that where she was like, she wasn't like trying to have these conversations and trying to like drag it out. She was like, well, you made your choice. So leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Today will be my last yeah. day of work. Stop trying to drag me back here. I'm out. And then he continues to try to drag her back there. Yeah. Well, then the so whole this man, I mean, office. he just ignores a lot of, like, what she's telling him. Mm -hmm. He just blatantly is like, no, that's I mean, not what you think. He has the emotional intelligence of a 10-year-old boy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, like I said, if I were her, I would have picked Knox. Or Nash, not Knox. I would have picked Nash. I didn't like Nash either. He's also like fighting him. with his brother in the in the street. Okay, but no Knox was the aggressor. <laughs> like, of course, but he still started all that. When like, the way that they the way that she like sprinkled in that he was forty. Like Oh my god. Like, Why the even whole time say how old he was then? The whole time I'm like, like okay. Well, because keep in mind, like, I also think that the evil twin could have had Waylay when she was, like, 16, and they could have yes, all been, like, that would have probably made more sense with their ages and how they yeah. behaved if they were all in their late 20s, mm -hmm. mid-30s. Yeah, but him being, like, they sprinkled in that he was 40, because it was like, we're in our 40s, we can't fight like we used to. And I was like, why are you fighting at all? <laughs> Exactly. Like Forty. Exactly. Oh my good. Exactly. Over over a girl that just got here that you were so rude to. I know. I know. Listen, I understand. In books, you see you see this woman, and oof, she's everything. Like that's the one. That's my soulmate. I can tell right away. I get it. I get that that's how a book works. I didn't even but feel that way. No, he, he hated motivation. her. He yeah. hated her, and then all of a sudden he was like, "This is my territory." Yeah, well, Nobody. He, he was like that immediately. Yes, I will say it was so um, weird. Nash, Nash putting his name on the police station. I thought that was a one. That's what I would have. Okay, done. that was funny. That was that's funny. what I would have done. I'm like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. <laughs> yeah, but I forgot okay, about well. that. There's just like a lot that happens in this book that didn't really need to happen. Mm -hmm. It could have been like 200 pages shorter, in my personal opinion. Well, because um, so like you you see the amount of pages, and I really thought that it was going to be a slow burn because it's almost six hundred pages. Yeah, but I mean they got together. They got together quickly. fairly quickly, and then they spent a good. I mean they spent like a third of the book doing whatever they were doing. They got together at like page two thirty. Yeah, I mean, but they I mean they and they spent a third of the book 
really like together i mean regardless of what he says and whether or not they were actually boyfriend girlfriend and how it was also they could have that third act breakup honestly yeah so i rewrote nox as not being blonde while i was reading it but somebody did say something somebody commented i think it was on the discord today or, or something and they said um that they just read him as Jax teller from sons of anarchy and i'm like oh that was fucking oh uh, that's fucking fair that. yeah that's fair because charlie yeah. hunnam is zaddy <laughs> <laughs> i never watched that show but we did live together when you were watching that show so i knew it's good looking man i know i'm familiar with with that man yes okay did you already tell your favorite quote I don't think I told mine. No, I have to do it right now. Let's do it. This is my favorite quote. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm clear. I'm... <clears throat> don't forget your vocal there... warm-ups. Ma. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Ma, ma. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Carry on. We're ready. There's a difference between taking care of someone because you love them and taking care of someone because you want them to love you. That was a favorite quote. <laughs> And it was by some random. I don't even know who said that. (laughs) It was by some random person. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Like when I was going back through to find the quotes, I really didn't think I I didn't really like anything that Knox said. My favorite quote was from Lucian. um, When he said, when you trust someone with who you are, the betrayal is a thousand times worse than if you hadn't handed them the weapons in the first place. I liked that. And I'm pretty sure because he good. was talking about his relationship with a sexy librarian there. Like someone was like, why are you mad with her? And he was like, let me tell you very vaguely that yeah. she hurt my feelings. Vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. Yes. Well, listen, I'm back in Minnesota. Also, no. she kept, also, she kept asking, what are we? We are crossing boundaries, which she ignored and then blamed her for catching feelings. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, and yeah. I just... I don't know. I there were there was too many times in the book, and as much as I love Naomi, there were too many times in the book that felt too close to begging, right? Like, yeah, too close to like, I'm desperate for you to reciprocate feelings. I know that you reciprocate them, but I'm desperate for you to tell me that you're reciprocating them and and to stick around. And and I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I there's a lot of like miscommunication, that. and I don't like that either. That's like one of my least favorite things in books is like a miscommunication trope. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Me too. And then just swallow very yeah. heavily into the mic. Sorry, everyone. Um, I didn't hear it, so it's okay, good. No, I yeah. I don't know. There but you know, like my my philosophy with men is um I, like, They I suck. To, yeah, they suck. And if I have to repeat myself more than twice, it's too close to begging. So Yes. <laughs> you're fair. out. Um That's fair. But like, yeah, he no. should be begging, not me. Yeah. Pussy yeah. power. <laughs> exactly <laughs> beautiful <laughs> beautiful sentiment um, um okay well, yeah that's nice do you want to go over our don't forget to talk about your little thing as i knock over all my stuff your little you can't even see it on there oh yeah the my little sheet. book review thing i'm going off of this so okay, can you so show it on the thing i can't it's like very dark or it's very bright i can try you can it can adjust on there because i don't have mine in front of me because i'm stupid let me see if i have mine in front of me can you see? Can you see? This is can my little see? this is a reading chart. You guys can get this on my website. Not to be like, <laughs> go buy stuff for me. It's only three dollars, so <laughs> and you can print like an unlimited amount of them. I also have a bunch of other books too. Let's wrap. Let's um kind of like wrap up our feelings about this book, and then we can spend the last fifteen minutes kind of bullshitting with you guys because I felt like last time I felt yeah. like it got cut off. So what was your rating on yeah. the writing style? Two. <laughs> Mine was, five. mine was um a five out of five i really enjoyed it that's fine um spice Listen, rating i like i wish i liked it oh one two okay spice rating as in like you didn't think it was very spicy or you didn't like the spice in it i didn't find it very spicy also i feel like the sex scenes that were in there they were okay do you know what i mean Mm-hmm. Like they weren't, they weren't like my favorite sex scenes I've ever read in a book. What about so, would you give it? Do you give it a five? <laughs> no, no, no. I gave it a two um, okay. because, I, like, I, I didn't find it very spicy, as in, like, I didn't find it very kinky, right? Like, like it wasn't right, right, uh, abnormal. But as we all know, um, the moment that someone says "good girl" or "good job" or "you're doing so good," I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hence the name for this club. 
Yeah, I'm very. Yeah, can you tell who came up with the name for the club? <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> the moment that there's praise, I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. So I give it me. a, I give it a two because I, I, I enjoyed mm-hmm. it and I like like a look at look at me eyes on me. I'm like, mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> eyes on you. Got it right here. Oh my All goodness. Right. <laughs> Final rating. Go. I gave it a two, a two out of five. I just the only reason I didn't give it a one out of five is because. The, like I said before, the ending, I started reading a lot faster because I was a little bit more interested. I like thriller books more in general, though. And mm-hmm. even though that weird plot line didn't make any sense for the rest of the book, that was probably my most enjoyable part of the book. Because at least something was finally happening. Because <laughs> the rest of the book, it, nothing really happens. That's fair. That's fair. I like, and I think yeah. I just like, I'm a sucker for a small town romance and a grump versus sunshine. Yeah. So it really threw together all of my, um, then I don't know why you don't read Beach Read because that's exactly what it is. I don't like I don't like Emily Henry. You don't like people when you on vacation. That's yeah. her worst book. I don't like it, and so I won't read it. Anyway, okay. I want everybody else's ratings overall. But yes, know that give us your rating. Whatever. What did you give it? You give it a five. Four point five. Four point five. Four point five. It's not quite a five. I'm. As much as I like love most of the books that I read, uh, it's really difficult for me to give a, a book a five out of five. Yeah, I wish on Goodreads they would give like a like a half. Yeah, because they don't give too. like you can just only do like the full five. Like sometimes I'll sometimes I'll rate it and then I'll be like oh like I rate it a four and then I'm like three point five. <laughs> like don't get like I'll say yeah. it in the in the review. Yeah, I am so Steph I give it gives a- it a five out of five. Listen, there was just like there if there's one thing about a book that I don't like, I'm like, I can't give you a five out of five because it's a perfect rating. And I think that just makes me a dick. And honestly, I may have to reevaluate reevaluate that. Me and Sam. Yeah, let me look level. at what the what the club gave it overall. Maybe I'm just an asshole for never giving You. You do kind I think of I'm the asshole in this in this situation. <laughs> How often do you for rate this a book five out of five? Me. Like what needs to happen in a book for you to rate it five out of five? I think, I think fairly often. Yeah, no, I never. I have to really like the characters. I have to really like the characters. I can overlook bad writing if I like the characters, personally. I think I think this year so far I've only I've read almost forty books and I've only given three a five out of five. Um, I just read, read forty books already. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've read like nine. <laughs> I don't. <see> <laughs> I've read so many books. Three, three out of five, three point five out of five, four point. Okay, so nobody, you, nobody hates the book. It's just like a. I, I did, wonder if it, I'm looking at the and emotions and how at the responses. Um. So I the responses in in the Survey Monkey, um, some people did write some comments, and I, don't, I they're anonymous. I don't know who writes what comment, but. Someone did say, I Girl, felt did you that just they say had you read comment. 87 books so far? I'm sorry. <laughs> did, you, did you see that comment? What the? What the fuck? Um, How? That's a lot of books. Do you work from home? Are you okay? <laughs> do you go to do you sleep? Jesus Christ. Blink twice if you need help. That is, wow. That is pretty mm. concerning. Yeah. I'm, I'm jealous, but I also feel like I can't. Ugh. Most, if not all, were five out of five. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I can that. see that from you, Steph, because the last chat we did, you said every book is your favorite book right after you read it. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. Um, fine. Which I am the same way about a lot of books, too. Anyway, I totally cut you off because Kayla <laughs> shook me to my core. So go ahead and tell me some of the comments because that really... Oh, yeah. Out of time. Some of the comments. Okay, so someone said, I liked this book, but I think it's overhyped. I love a grumpy guy, but he needed to chill. <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah. Oops. Someone said, it was all right. Can't explain why. <laughs> <laughs> someone said, oh, already loved it, but absolutely... Already read it, but absolutely loved it. Didn't read this one enjoyed it um i read this for a fourth time so they really liked it i always find find Um, it so interesting like people's different ideas on like how someone could love a book and somebody else could like fuck this book someone said didn't participate new to the group welcome whoever said that welcome we love you welcome Um, knox's age ruined a lot yeah so but overall it got a 
four are we all five. just raging? Or four point four. Are we raging ages because the moment that we found out he was forty three, we're all like, ugh. Which is funny yeah, because kinda. I like an age gap book, so I can read an older man with a younger woman. But like him being, I don't. I think I think it was with the attitude that he had, right? Like yeah. when you read an age gap, and it's like you know, one guy is like older, he's like established, and he's like together and and understands himself and his motivations. But like with yeah. this guy, I was just like, you're old and you're an idiot. <laughs> yes. I am yes. on book 137. Bitch, you're lying. Bitch, Someone's you're lying. Read 100 no way. Books. It is the end of May. Are, We're not I even really, halfway How do you do this? I need to be like this. No, you do not. That's <laughs> then amazing. Then you have a child. That's this am- person, she'll be all right. Coco Melon will be her mom That's now. crazy. Coco Melon will be her mom now. It's all right. Oh, my God. I am, I am jealous. I feel like I have really hit a... A, a slump his his age pulled me in i love that oh. age, yeah see i like i like i like an age gap and i like an older man but to your point he was too immature for his age and it made immature. him feel weird like it just exactly like and all like I don't, I really... depression i read a lot of books during depression too i get mm. that although and usually all... my depression gives me into reading slumps so and i feel like that might be weird. your depression superpower is that it doesn't make you not want to read it all becomes clear yeah i get it now yeah there are worse medias to consume when you're depressed for Absolutely. sure Absolutely, reading's great is it i feel mm-hmm. like we're, we're like in this thing right now where like readers are like being attacked for reading <laughs> like my brother was like why do you read i was like back in the day it which brother was, gavin oh <gasps> i i know appalling oh, unbelievable like, oh yeah I'm actually I about to read any birthday girl. I don't know how you'll feel about Pen Duck, and I I want to recommend it, but I also don't want you to. I don't want to scare you because it can be scary. I'm already scared. <laughs> so good. That's okay. That's so in our last way to go into one of their books. In our last, you know, eight minutes that we have here, um, anybody who has any questions, please put them through the chat. I want to say we are going to do A Court of Thorns and Roses back to back with this. Um, So we'll just end this one, start the next one. That way they can be separate when we upload them to YouTube or the Discord whenever we upload those. Um, So don't leave. We'll just be talking about this instead. This is TikTok's beloved. Everyone on TikTok. Loves this book, except for RJ. <laughs> so RJ and I are going to be reverse in this next one. See, Steph, Steph is Steph agrees. You're not going to like them. I really don't like them. I only okay, read punk. Oh, we you. don't talk. We don't talk about Punk Fifty Seven here. I don't even put that in. I I hated Punk Fifty Seven. I I can't fucking stand that book. I hate Misha. Mm-mm. So anybody have any questions? Oh, the next book we're reading, if you missed it, is what was it called? A Ruin of Roses? Roses of Ruin? A Ruin of Roses, I think. Yes. You bitches are just obsessed um, with we'll roses. We'll put the eh? link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you, in Canada? <laughs> yeah. I'm back, I, I we'll gotta turn my the... Minnesota back on. I'm back and better than ever. Yeah. A I Ruin posted... of Roses. We will put that in the Discord. Oh, loved Credence. Oh, and I feel so bad whenever I say I loved Credence, but I loved Credence. Um, oh, my baby is crying. <laughs> and so it's a problem for her dad. <laughs> yeah, mine's mine's upstairs freaking out <clears throat> because you're not. Well, now I need to know how you feel about Punk Fifty Seven. But to go back to it, so I, I posted a, a link and everything to the new book. I think it doesn't okay look like it, doesn't look like it worked, but I'll I'll post one after this. It'll be on Discord. Make sure you buy it through RJ's Amazon so she gets like a penny or whatever. From that yeah, just one i don't even have one yet because i don't have a thousand followers so i can't get a stupid link on my tiktok still one singular Which penny is, is all i need here let me let me because i didn't it didn't work so let me post it over there really quick okay okay and read. then um in case you're wondering the next fantasy read is the the other sarah j moss um series a, a thor uh throne of glass Sorry, that's a separate series. So that's the next one. A Throne of Glass, got it. Well, I'm yep. not going to read it, but I'll show up and I'll, I'll just be like... I'll read it first and I'll tell you if it's spicy and if you'd like it or not. But I, I 
I don't think it has your level. Uh, Steph, please elaborate on how you felt about Punk 57. So Punk 57, it's, it's weird because so with Damon and Killswitch, I am firmly in the camp of like he may have tricked her into sleeping with him, but it's not um, a problem. With Misha, I actually found it very <laughs> rapey. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been great if the character. I don't know anything there. about these books. I just heard that. Yeah, you know, and the characters being, I really hate reading spicy books that take place in, in high school. I really hate it. What? It makes me wildly uncomfortable. Pendug has a Are couple of them. 18? Uh, I don't remember. Somebody don't else like in this book might know better. I don't like that at all. In high school. Well, okay, so, and then it's funny because the first Pendug book that I read, um, I was in high school and the characters were in high school and it didn't bother me probably because I was in high school, but now I'm like, I'm an adult. I don't want to read about yeah. like 17 year olds. Yeah, when I was in high school, I loved reading high school books, but now yeah. no. Okay, let me post this in the chat real quick so you need to keep on keep the people entertained. Oh my goodness. Um is everybody going to keep dance? Is everyone going to stay with us for the next stream? Have you read this? I feel like most people have actually read that book. It's a very popular book. I think that TikTok in particular is one of the reasons that it really blew up um yes stay with me i will stay if i have not read it i will give a little summary better than what rj did because she didn't really give much of a summary excuse me my, my summary was wonderful and how fucking dare you <laughs> your summary was like evil twin grump <laughs> was that not what happened you're right i mean you? you're right you're not Thank wrong you. i'm staying Never but i haven't read it you haven't read any fantasy ever? Oh no. Well, this is a this is this is like a very easy fantasy to if you're interested in fantasy, this is really easy to get into because it's not like a high fantasy at all. The it's reason Arja didn't like it is because it wasn't slutty enough for her. Yeah. It's I would say it's it's romance then fantasy rather than like the focus I wouldn't say necessarily the fantasy. But you're correct. I need Not more, in this one. I needed more and not in this one. Right dirty filthy smut yes oh and that's right you hate rice and i forgot you and i disagree about that i love him so much oh my gosh i this is a perfect example of me overlooking red flags if i like the character because this book is full of rice and red flags but i still love him and i always will and that's just i haven't read the third book i'm halfway through and i got bored to be honest. The second book was my favorite one. Yeah, the second book has a lot more romance aspects to it. Guess who's um, back? And a lot more sex scenes. You never left. I felt like I was gone. Um, I will say that I love that everybody collectively calls um, Tamlin Tampon. I think it's amazing. It's true. You haven't even read the second book, so you don't even know. I started it. Oh, help? you did? No, it's very long. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. a hefty book. Hefty. I heard Bryson has a huge yeah. character development. I don't know. Bryson has a huge character development in the second book as well. Monster Romance. I never read Monster Romance. Oh my god! When are we gonna read this one? The the Ice Planet, Icy Planet Barbarians. Ice Planet Barbarians. Whatever. I don't know. I was waiting for you to tell me when okay. you wanted to read it. If anybody, we're, so we bought, we went to Barnes and Noble together. We bought Ice Planet Barbarians. Um, if anyone wants to read that with us, I'm very nervous, but I've heard that there's some. That could be a that could be another spinoff that we do also for the Discord if we wanted to. I just finished Cat and Mouse. Do it. Oh God, are you okay? I don't know what that is. Uh, Haunting Adeline. I don't know what that is. It was the it was the inspiration for that TikTok that I did where I was where I cut my knuckles hitting my phone, which by the way actually happened. Oh my god, with necrophilia? No, 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 no. no there was no necrophilia. Was that real? Or bestiality, oh. but there, everything else. Was oh. oh, oh my gosh. Fair. Do it. Like, Are you talking about the? I've been wanting to read Ice Planet. Well, okay. So if anybody wants to read it with us, um, we'll pick a day and a time when we start it, and I will let everybody. Probably be after a separate stream. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Okay, well, I have to um, pee before our next stream. Okay. 
So we'll be so, back. We'll be back shortly. Yeah. So give us like a little bit of a a break, and then we'll be right back with the next one minute. So. Yeah. Nobody Bye. leave. Or Bye. if you have to, probably. Don't though. <laughs> Don't leave. I'll be back. I'll Bye. Be back.